Hello, and today I wanted to show you my new best friend since about two hours ago. It's a service called Wooper and Woofer, and if you're a web designer, you're going to want to use this service to build all your films because it allows extreme flexibility with a WYSIWYG to make forms and it's all managed for you. Um, and as you can see, it says sign up for free. Um, I've already made an account for this video. But here, if you look on my account, it says that I'm on the free plan because I, I don't use this service. I just wanted to show you for this video. So you get free forms, free reports, 10 fields and uh, 100 entries per month. So you may well want to upgrade that if um, you find yourself using this service a lot. So let's go ahead and build a form so I don't waste any time. It's very easy but it seems to take me a long time every time I try and do a video. It's one of the most basic tools I've ever used. Not the most basic but the most uh, idiot friendly. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click the title and we're going to name our form. I'm just going to call it Demo and I'm not um, my description is just going to be it's awesome uh, meaning whoop is awesome so I'm going to go over and add a field and I can drag on all these different types. The first thing I want is a name field. Now, um, I could just add a single text line, but Whoop was smart and it knows that a lot of people are going to want names. So it's already got a name field in the format that you want. So it includes first and last name. I'm going to click that and I'm going to set it so it's required. So that we don't get duplicate entries. Um, I'm now going to add another field. Which is. And anyway. This is just for demonstration purposes. Um, and I'm going to make it required. And I'm going to know duplicate. And I'm actually going to change the type of field so that it's large so that uh, we have more room for all these long email addresses and I'm just going to add a field uh, I'm just going to make a really simple one just to show you how easy this is because 9 times out of 10 this is all people are going to want to do just create a really simple contact form but um realize there is a lot more you can do but i'm just showing you for video so i'm gonna set this to your comment i'm, I'm gonna make that required and I don't mind if there's duplicates of that. So I'm just going to... My form's now done. So I'm going to save my form. Well, when you save your form, it says, Awesome, your form has been saved. So if you take yourself back to the form manager, you can view your form on your account. So before you embed it anywhere, um, and you can also take payment through your film. But the first thing I should show you is that you, can, you get the code and you can embed it in your site and put, uh, 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 in a variety of ways. I normally use the uh, either the pop-up form link, so it just creates a thing there or the um full page form tag um so that it's hosted on my own 
So, so let's preview our form. I can just go to view. And it goes to a subdomain. So let's just fill out our form with some super uh, basic info. So I'm going to say my email address is a at b dot com and just going to say Rogers. And my comment is going to be this. Sucks. Not that it does suck. But then I'm just click the big submit button. And that's what your people are going to see before you style it. Now, how do you actually get to these homes? Well, obviously you can set it in the notifications area so that people... Um, you can get notified and you can even uh, send notifications to your desktop or to your inbox obviously but I think the easiest way is just to do it via WooPrep because if you go to your form it will show that you've got one pending um, uh, thing so if we go into the entries, we, we can see the entry that was submitted and all the fields that, that that person filled up. We can see when it was created and what IP address it was created by. So, that's pretty cool. Now, uh, I want to sh show you how to theme y your phone. Because this right now is pretty plain. So let's use the built in FEMA. Just to theme some of this stuff. And we can create a new theme and st stuff like that. And we can use CSS if we want to get advanced. Which. I would do if, but I'm just going to change some real basic stuff. I don't want there to be borders on instructions, and I'll put them as medium. And this is all stuff that I can style, and I'll turn the shadows off for now, and I'll make the stuff typography of the title Georgia and I'll put it as something crazy and it's all Ajaxified so it updates automatically I'll turn the logo off and there's a the world thing that you can do. So right now my form looks a little bit better. And I could do way more to blend it into my site. But the last thing I want to show you where we put it is the ability to add in your own CSS files. So it allows, allows you the ability to download a sample blank CSS file that's all ready for Wooper to accept. When you get that, you can just edit the CSS and then save it into your if you save it in to folder on your web server where the form is, then you'll be able to access it. So that's Wooper, a really nice, easy way of making forms, and I hope you enjoyed this video.